In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit your GoPro time lapse in Premiere Pro. If you don't know how to do a time lapse with your GoPro, here's a video right here. I suggest you watch this first so you know how to do it and then come right back to this video and learn how to edit. I'm also going to be doing a video on how to edit in the GoPro app. This will be up shortly. <laughs> so the first thing we want to do is import our footage from our GoPro. To do that, I take out the little SD. I like to put the mini SD into an SD adapter because I have a Mac and I have a little slot for my SD card. But if you don't have an SD card slot on your computer, like if you're using a PC, you should use a card reader. And that'll just plug in by USB. And you can plug it into any PC or whatever you're going to use. So first we're going to import our footage, then we're going to create a new project file, then we're going to trim the clip to the size that we want, then we're going to import it into the sequence, and then I'm going to show you how to export. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new folder on the desktop, I'm going to call it, call it time, go into the GoPro and I'm just gonna select all with command A and then hit command C to copy and then I'm going to the time and then I'm just gonna paste it so now we're gonna open Premiere Pro I like to just search and type it in so it keeps my desktop clean but you can go to the applications and Adobe and open it but and then I'm gonna create a new project I'm gonna call this project oh not 180 we'll call it GoPro um, you can pick where you want it saved I'm just gonna save it to the desktop my project file And I'm hit go. This is important because you want to make sure your video settings are correct so when you upload it to YouTube. So I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to do custom. I'm going to leave it 29.97 for the frames. I'm going to change this to square pixels. The pixel ratio, I'm going to change the pixel ratio. I'm going to change to the square pixels. And then I'm going to make it 1920 by 1080. And then all this stuff is fine and then I'm just going to change this to QuickTime and then I'm make sure to, well I like to use Apple ProRes 422 and just double check the width and the heights correct and then you're going to name it um, 180. We'll name this the sequence 180 because it's the GoPro footage that goes 180. Then you can save this preset if you want to make sure you always have the same thing and is hit OK. Now we're going to import the footage. So I'm going to go to my time folder. You want to search by name. So just make sure it's in order. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Good. And then click the checkbox right there by image sequence and then hit import. I don't know if you guys can hear my computer, but it feels like it's really working hard. Cool. And then double click on the footage to get it to the editor window up here and obviously I don't want to start with my face for the first frame so I'm gonna go in a couple frames and then I'm gonna hit I or you can hit the mark in button right here and then I'm just gonna go a little bit farther and let's see here let's see I'm going to stop it right here and you can either hit the mark out button or just hit O perfect and now that I have the clip I want, I'm just going to click and drag it to the sequence. I'm going to keep my settings. So once your footage is in the sequence, you can click on it twice and go to effects controls. And here you can change the scale so you can fit the whole thing in there. Or you can just frame it to anywhere you want. You can move the position up and down. You can mess with it. You can rotate it. Do whatever you need to do to make it the best framing you can get from your shot. And then once you're satisfied with it, you can hit the space bar and you can see the preview. 
cool and then I'm gonna show you how to export so you're gonna file export or control M is the shortcut once it's in here since I'm exporting it this for YouTube I'm gonna go to H.264 and then for the presets they have a YouTube preset and I'm gonna do YouTube HD 1080p 29.97 that's the frame rate we're using and the size of the footage and then once that's all set to go output name I'm gonna click on that I'm gonna make sure it's saving to the desktop and then I'm gonna hit save and then you can just hit export but I'm gonna show you guys a little technique I like to use so I like to queue it this puts it in Adobe Encore and this is kind of like batch rendering so what's great about this is I can hit this little go button which starts the render but now I can still work in Premiere Pro it's a great little tool to use because you can still work you can edit tons of tons of clips and just add it to the render queue and yeah it's my favorite way to work in Premiere cool our renders done so now I'm just gonna go back to the desktop and here it is you hit the space bar to preview it quickly there you go there's your time-lapse it's playing a little slow on my computer I think it's because I'm overworking it but there it is if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions on how to edit in Premiere Pro feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. See ya.